Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Biology. So uh, we are going into another topic. We're looking at cell structure and functions of cells. Okay, cell function and structure of cells. So in the next uh, ensuing episodes, I'm going to be talking about this. All right. So um, this video tutorial is brought to you by, of course, the O3 Schools Jam app. All right. Please, if you have not liked this video. What you are doing is very wrong. Please, as you are, before you will start, now just click on that like button. All right. Then, of course, it will make other students to easily find this video and learn. Also, also, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscription is completely free. All right. Just for you to click on that red subscribe button just underneath this video. And of course, um, you'll get notification from us whenever we release a new video. So it is to help you, actually. If you have done that before, it's totally fine. Okay. So the Auto School Jam have asked all you need to succeed in your exam. All the past questions for all the subjects is inside that app. So you don't need to go, and, go outside there and go and buy four past questions for your four subjects for six thousand naira because one nine is one thousand five. All right. Then of course there's there, there's a test books inbuilt inside through the classroom feature where you can study lecture notes. Okay, and take tests according to the jam syllabus. You need the jam syllabus, so it's structured according to the jam syllabus. Then also. Uh, the question search feature can search for question according to what the topic, all right. And of course, you have the UTMA challenge that will conduct every Saturday. It's a mock challenge, okay. You can participate in many mocks before your main exam. So you get used to how jam set that question, get used to jam past questions. You of course you'll be seeing your score release every Saturday, building your confidence because you if your score is released every Saturday after every mock challenge, you'll be able to know how you are what progressing, right? Then of course. It builds your confidence towards the main exam. Activation for the app, as I'm talking to you now, is 3,000. It will increase in the future. So please jump on the app, download it, activate it. Okay, it's also available for PC. If you want to get it for your computer, just send a message to this number on WhatsApp 0912151 In case you want to download it for your computer, okay, you can send a message to this number on WhatsApp 0912151 All right, so now, now let's continue. So sell structure and functions of cell all right uh number one uh number first point here is that robert hook is examine cock tissues robert hook examine cock tissues and discovered that they were made up of cells okay so he discovered what cells in the year 1965 robert hook discovered cells in the year what 1965 okay so what he did was what he examined what cock tissue what well, do you know what cock tissues is all right so it's a cock a cock is a, a part of the back of a tree okay you know a tree now okay the back of the tree okay he took what thin slices of what of that cock and then he examined it using the simple magnifying device Okay, some of you call it microscope now, all right? So use a microscope to what? To observe what thin slices of what? Of what this cock, all right? That's what the, a part of the back of a tree, all right? And then when he examined it under what this microscope, he discovered that what? They're made up of a compartment or boxes, okay? That look like a honeycomb. It looked like what, oh, like a honeycomb. It has been shown on what on your screen right now. Okay, so examine what this was cock, and then it's covered that all oh, they look that they have what compartments. Each of them separated by a wall. Okay, that look like what, oh, like a honeycomb. All right, and then after he has what examined it, he now named each of those boxes what a cell. That was how cell was discovered in 1965 by Robert Hooke. Okay, so he examined the cock tissues. All right, and discover that they were made up of cell in 1965. All right, so please keep that pointer at the back of your heart. Now, three scientists that contributed to the development of the cell theory are Matthias Kleiden, as you see, Matthias Kleiden, then Theodor Kwan, and what Rudolfico. Okay, these are three scientists that contributed to the development of the cell theory. All right, uh, Matthias Kleiden, Theodor Kwan, and what Rudolf Vico. All right. Now, Matthias Kleiden, a German botanist, he was a German botanist, okay, proposed that plant cells, plants consist of what? Of cells, rather. Okay, he proposed that plants consist of what? Of cells. So you must know what their contribution, each of what, each of their contribution. Okay, Matthias Kleiden, he was a German botanist and proposed that what? Plants consisted of what? Of cells, okay? Matthias Kleiden, he proposed, okay, that what plant consists of cells. Now, Theodor Squan, a German zoologist, on the other hand, proposed that animals consist of what of cells, okay? So, Matthias Kleiden proposed that what plant consists of cells. Theodor Squan 
proposed that what animals consist of what of cells. Then of course Rudolf Vichu, he said, "Omnis e cellular e cellular, omnis e cellular e cellular, omnis e cellular e cellular." Let me write that out because it's, that is what is what is exact statement. Omnis e cellular 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 e cellular. This was his exact statement, okay? Meaning that what all cells only arise from pre-existing cells, okay? Meaning that what all cells only arise from pre-existing what cells. Omnis e cellular e cellular. Meaning that what all cells only arise from pre-existing what cells. Okay, now we're going to what, talk about more of it when we get to what to the what to the set theory, just like in prokaryotic organisms and what in eukaryotic organisms like what, like the animals. Okay, you see that what new cells result from what from what from pre-existing what cells. All right, now we're going to look at the set theory in what in proper. Okay, so now we're going to the cell theory. Let's see the cell theory, the cell theory, the cell theory. Okay, and the first. Among it is that what the cell is the fundamental unit of all living things. The cell is the fundamental unit of all living things. Okay, the cell theory, the cell theory now. Number one, you see that the cell, the cell is the fundamental unit of all living things of all living what things the, the fundamental unit of all living things through it what through it what we are through it, through it organisms or whatever, through it living things what arise okay is what is the cell okay you say what the cell is what is the fundamental unit of all what living things all plant animals okay all living things the cell is the fundamental unit right of all living things then uh, number two say all organisms are made up of one or more cells that all organisms are made of one or more cell are made up are made up of one or more cell. That's what all organisms, okay, are made up of one or more cell. This is what the second postulation of the word of the cell theory. First one says the cell is the fundamental unit of all living things. The number two says all organisms are made up of one or more cell. And of course, cells arise from other cells through cellular division. Cells arise from other cells. True cellular division. So this is the first postulate of what of the cell theory. Uh, for example, in prokaryotic what organisms, prokaryotic organisms, you see that what uh, they produce what prokaryotic organisms produce what genetically identical daughter cells. Okay, they produce genetically what genetically identical daughter cells daughter cells through what we call what binary fission through binary fission prokaryotic organisms produce what we call what genetically what identical what daughter cells and also for eukaryotic organisms like e.g. E animals or eukaryotes eukaryotic Eukaryotic organisms, okay, like example, e.g., animals, you see that what that a zygote is produced, okay, through what? Through fertilization. Through fertilization of a haploid, haploid egg and a haploid sperm. Okay, so you see that what's in what in prokaryotic organisms, genetically identical daughter cells are what produced through what binary what fission. Okay, showing that what cells arise from what from other cells. 
through what cellular what division okay they divide and what new cell what is formed okay so genetically identical data cells are produced through binary fusion like for in prokaryotic organisms like and then also in eukaryotic organisms like example the animals you see the zygote is produced through fertilization of the haploid egg and what and the haploid was sperm okay so that is what the explanation of what that test postulate of the uh, cell theory that cells arise from other cells through uh, cellular what division then of course you should know that what are the largest the largest single cells in humans the largest single cells in human is the ovum ovum okay the ovum that is the female gamete Okay, it's what the largest what uh, single cell. Okay, the largest or single cell in what in humans is what is the ovum, or we call it what the egg cell. Okay, that's what it releases what uh, this egg every month. Okay, it is what this egg what every what month. All right. Now it has what a diameter of about zero point what one one what uh, millimeter. Okay, it has what a diameter of about zero point one one millimeter. All right. Why this? Smallest, why the smallest single cell in humans? In humans, this one is the largest single cell in humans. And the female gamete is the male gamete, which is what the sperm. Okay, it is what is the smallest single cell what in humans. All right, so it's important that what we know what this. Now the living matter, the living matter of the cell, the living matter of the cell, the living matter of the cell, the living matter of the cell is the what we call what the protoplasm okay is the protoplasm the living matter of what of the cell is the protoplasm and what the protoplasm consists of the what of the cytoplasm and the nucleus okay protoplasm consists of what of the cytoplasm and what the what the nucleus okay so it is very important we know that the living matter of the cell Okay, the living matter of the cell is the what? It's what is the protoplasm. Okay, and of course, the protoplasm consists of what? Of the cytoplasm and the what? And the nucleus. Okay, and the protoplasm was discovered by a man called Felix Dujardin. It was discovered by a man called Felix what? Dujardin. Okay, it was one that, was, that discovered what? Protoplasm. But it was first used by a man called J.E. Pokinje. This te the term protoplasm was first used by a man called J E Porkinje. Okay. The term what the term protoplasm was first used by a man called J. E. Porkinje, but of course it was discovered by a man called what Felix Dujardin. All right. So the living matter of the cell is the protoplasm and it consists of the cytoplasm and the nucleus. All right. So this is why I want to stop all on this episode. In okay, this episode, we'll continue what our study of, what, of the cell structure and what and functions of what cell. Okay, and I'll see you in that episode. Thank you for watching.